Let's go. One attempt at the boss rush with Imelda. Because she hasn't beaten the boss rush. And we only did it with... Um, I wonder if that's how you get that not yet discovered area as well. Let's do that. Let's start with that. Because there are stuff that's out on the map. Okay, that's a lot of stuff. Is that like just every item in the game? I wonder if that's like every item in the game. Um, Laurel. Laurel. I like my fire ones. Okay, so we're going for my build. I know we don't have the clock lancer yet, but... Okay. <laughs> Not ideal start to, like, bring these guys in, but if we can get them going, then it's really, really good. I think just everything in the game is on the floor, right? Right, give me more experience. Sure, Skullomania, what could possibly go wrong? I think every passive item is here. So we're going to take them all. <laughs> we're going to take them all, and we're going to try and charge them down. Right, these aren't the... We need to kill normal enemies. You sell me things. We've got money. We've got some money. I don't want Celestial Dust in. So give me the Corello. I could also buy other things. Much potential calls down reduced when moving. Or is it just that? I don't know if a bouquet of flowers is necessarily going to do the stuff for us here. Okay. This evolves. And I like the axe. So we're taking it. <laughs> right. I think everything we got can evolve though. So, it's, you know, it's like... It's kind of an irrelevant thing at that point. But... But, you know, we're, we're taking what we can. Right, we need to focus normal enemies and not just the bosses. Because, you know, we're not doing it with one weapon. It only says survive though, doesn't it? It doesn't necessarily mean kill everything. So there might be a way to just outrun everything with one weapon. I really would have liked to have killed those bats. <laughs> that was a lot of experience that just passed us by in an instant. <laughs> that would have been really, really nice to kill those bats. Okay. Could we get some more experience dropping enemies, please? And not just the bosses. That would be very nice right about now. Because I feel kind of underleveled. Right, what do these do? That does something. <laughs> it did something. Did it bring more enemies in? <laughs> it's kind of what I was hoping for. Maybe it started the next wave. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you know, I, I haven't looked up everything. I just play. This is bad. <laughs> okay, we just about squeezed through. Okay. We need the experience game. <laughs> That's what we need most. What do you do? I don't know. You did something. Especially as, like, Omni-Death and that's going to start appearing as well. I don't know when they start appearing. But they... I know they do from when we did this. Maybe picking up all these items wasn't the smartest. <laughs> you know, specializing might have helped. Ooh, that's a red gem, though. That'll help. That'll help. All right, more bosses. Give me. Thank you. Lightning ring. I mean, if we can get more enemies. More enemies isn't terrible. And every weapon that we can get will evolve, so... It's just a matter of time. Now, what do we want? Garlic is 
something I really do like, but I don't know if it's necessarily great for bosses. If that's a normal enemy, we need you, normal enemy! Stop! 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 I feel like that might give us some more enemies and things for more experience. Like, it dropped a gem. <laughs> One solitary green gem. Of course, we are being chased by many enemies. <laughs> gems. Let's go. Oh, the bosses drop us gems as well. That's actually kind of handy. Right, we need more projectiles. That's what we need. We definitely need more projectiles. Fire ones. I do like it. We're taking it. Okay, now, now we're full of weapons. All right, give me this treasure chest. Thank you. It couldn't be nice and give us like a triple or something, could it? <laughs> but evolve some. The worst thing you could have leveled up. <laughs> Just, hey, you know, we increased your pickup range. Thanks. Cool down reduced, I'll take it. That definitely spawns more enemies. <laughs> I, I'm getting the feeling that that definitely does spawn more enemies, as much as it spawns, like, bosses as well. But that's good. That's more things to kill. More projectiles. <laughs> more things to kill for more experience. And that's actually what we need to happen. Especially as we are getting chased by the stalkers. The stalkers will give us golden eggs, though. But they are kind of like eating our ability to kill things for the most part. That's a treasure chest. This is a stupid idea. I'm not going to run into that. That thing just doing donuts on us. <laughs> Why is it just doing donuts? You know, I was tempted to go in for that treasure chest, but at the same time, not whilst. Not when they're probably going to unfreeze on us and kill us as we go past them. That doesn't seem smart. <laughs> I'll take it. Just some extra health. I'm also going to push the button again. As stupid as it is. Because more enemies. But Damage. Yes. Gimme. Axe. Perfect. It's a shame that there's no button on the controller that's the equivalent to that. More damage. I want more enemies. This is perfect. This is exactly what I want. More enemies for more experience, because we're not getting enough. We're not getting enough. <laughs> in before it'll come bite us in the ass later, but... You know, I need what I can take. I thought he was going to fly into us in, in some BS way. We need every advantage we can get. Okay, that's a treasure chest. I don't know what this other one's doing for us. Right, bouncing projectiles. Bouncing projectiles. <laughs> That'll help us. Not necessarily a lot, but it'll help us. Stone mask, I'll take it. Gold coins, like, you know, that to level up something. I guess, you know, something has to level up something, right? <laughs> but to have been the item that evolved the other thing was not expected. Crabbins is a problem. Mr. Crabbins with his big claws. I thought we were on rolling. Uh, I'll take more projectiles. Give me the hollow heart. Magic wants more damage. We want to get something towards evolving. So, you know, I'm going to head... Down that road. Right. Give me the button again. Crabbins. That's why Crabbins is dangerous. Because he can just massively throw a claw at you out of nowhere. <laughs> and be like, hey, you accidentally did a lot of extra damage to him whilst you're not trying to. <laughs> and, like this whole thing, it just inflated upon you. That's a lot more enemies, but yeah, just run into the dragons. That's fine. It was actually fine, but it wasn't smart. That was like just asking for death. <laughs> Somehow it worked out for us, but it's just asking for death. Perfect. 
I'll come back for you treasure chests. I we've learned a lesson about running into dragons, right? Learned a lesson about running into the dragons. It it wasn't <laughs> the smartest of things, right? This crabbins needs to die. We can't just keep inflating his fingers. More enemies. More enemies. <laughs> Um, even more enemies, right? We need to fight crabbins from below. I will take you on as well. But this crabbins needs to die first and foremost. Okay, well, we killed her pretty quickly. Okay, we did it. Crabbins is dead. Crabbins was the issue that was going to get us killed. And he's gone. This is enemy speed. Eh. We're not trying to make it stupidly dangerous. We're not. <laughs> okay, what do we have? We can evolve that. Oh, we didn't get the four seasons. That would have gone so well. <laughs> Everything you've got evolves good. Yeah, okay, fine, whatever. Um, the Clock Lancer would have also been great, but we can level up. Okay, we should focus on the Laurel. Laurel is living. Laurel is living. Is it every time I push that it also, like, you know, rearranges the stuff to us? <laughs> the Laurel is keeping us alive. Hello, Omni Death. Okay. The problem is... <laughs> we've got these Stalkers still and Omni Death. And, you know... And then the normal Deaths are also going to come whilst Omni Death also still is here. So... We kind of need to... Really? Kind of really need to kill these things. <laughs> um, gives more rerolls, more might for each active weapon slot left empty. I think that's the secret to doing it with one weapon. That specific thing right there. I think that might be how you do it with one weapon. Okay, that's a new revive. Is it only a bit of a revive? <laughs> you know, it's like a part of a revive. Okay, but Omni Death is the only one left on the screen now. So we can kind of focus Omni Death. There goes Omni Death. Suddenly there's like a lot of gems. Flying in to attack us. Okay, every death under the sun is now coming. Every death under the sun is now coming. Um, I should take the laurel just to make sure that we don't die. Okay. We should focus you, Mr. Bubble Death, because I know that you're going to cut off the map and we really don't want that to happen. So let's focus you. Right, Bubble Death down. Perfect. Okay, I think we might do this. Copium. These other deaths do seem to be taking injuries. I have never met Pink Death, though. I do not know what Pink Death or Orange Death, really. It's just like carrying his barbell. You know, he's, he definitely <laughs> has no difficulty in lifting that, does he, bro? What are you even shooting at? You're not even shooting death. Just kill the deaths. A like green death is just like death death, but okay. That's just teleported. Wow, that debated. <laughs> like, hey, we teleported all of these stuff that you, you're getting on the screen, right? Pink and orange death. But we got enemies coming in. Enemies coming in in the vast quantity. One more death down. A death saw, you might say. Lightning ring. Healing also damages enemies. Okay, give me the experience. We kind of need it. All cooldowns reduced. Let's go. Okay, I don't think I want to increase the enemy quantity until we kill all of the deaths. Oh, can you actually pick them up before they explode and they count as experience? That's nice. That's actually kind of nice. <laughs> I feel so low level. 
Right, laurels, laurel me up. Laurel me up. Don't death me though. I don't think I want to know what purple and orange death do. They just menacingly come towards you, but I don't think. Oh, well, you've just teleported down there. I don't think I'm. Hello, who are you? You're somebody I haven't met. <laughs> I don't think I want to know what they do. Okay, we need to increase the metal audio. Again, you know, are they the wrong way round? I mean, all base damage needs to go up. Laurel. Laurel. XP, though. All right, give me the XP. All right, I think we killed Orange Death in there somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. Green and purple death, who's going to live? Green's going to outlive them all, isn't he? Okay. Increasing the cooldowns might not be bad. Right, the, um, the special buttons are no longer there, so I think we've like maximised them. So all base area, gimme. Come on, death. Your time has come, death. Purple and green death, you need to go down now. You need to go down. Okay, we got the purple death. We got them all. All deaths defeated. Omni death included. Now it's just bad, and it just feels sad. <laughs> like, hey, you killed everything now. Okay, chimeras. Okay, these things take more damage than I thought they would. <laughs> We can't afford to rest on our laurels for them. They're nice and slow at least, but <laughs> we're really not doing the damage that we need to do. We're really not. Yo, give me the attract orb. That'll do. Um, increases enemy speed. Sure. <laughs> All base damage up. Let's go. We don't have the infinite corridor, so that's actually not the thing that we should be going for. Right, we need to level up this mask. This, um, not mask, but you know what I mean. Right, we're picking it up. We need whatever we can get. We're leveling up the cape. We're hoping to level up the cape. Is this just a 15 minute level or is it a half an hour one? Because if it's 15 minutes, we're there. If it's 15 minutes, we are there. We didn't level up everything, but we got some stuff leveled up. And we, we're kind of getting there. Give me... Okay, it was only 15 minutes. We did it. Of course, we lasted only six seconds afterwards, but we did it. I'm not gonna... <laughs> We won't live any longer than that. Let's <laughs> cash out and live. Okay, 15 minutes in Boshras unlocks a skip. Is that it? <laughs> is, is that all that we unlocked? One skip. But we've completed every level as her. Now, now everyone else needs to do it. She's got 30 golden eggs. 30 golden eggs. That's ridiculous. 30. How many did this guy end up with? Four? Well, yeah, like that's all of them in the level. You got two as well, Miang, so that's not bad. Like power ups we can afford. <laughs> we can't afford another curse. We can't. Okay, secrets. The bottom of Gallo Tower, the pure heart, and two good friends, the fiery balcony and the Capella Magna. All 16 accessories mastered in Moonglow. We can do that as well. Um, with the most adverse fates. That's what I wonder. The fates must be the random Arzo. So what's the worst one? And then find some flowers in the bone zone. Survive the bash, bosh rash with only one weapon. Like, that's plausible with that thing that gives you more power for, like, not using the things. Asking for help is also a thing. And under previously uncovered coffins, there's, there's more secrets to discover. 
unlocks. How are we doing on unlocks? We haven't got level 80 in the inverse Gallo Tower, so there's something about the inverse. And then, you know, survive minutes. 15 minutes with Pugnale. We did survive 15 minutes with Pugnale, but, you know, it was like 15 minutes and a split second less because we went to the secret area. That's what we missed. To, to unlock that one. Popeye, Conchetta, Shadow Binion. That's some sort of tree. Um, another whip. Then Crotchy to get the Tigurasu. Tigurasu. Survive with Llama to unlock the Skull of Maniac. <laughs> the Rune Tracer to level 7 to get the Spellbinder. That seems easy enough. Um, 30 minutes with Devano or Gallo to unlock another bracelet. And then we've got... What else have we got? We're kind of getting up there. The open coffee in the inlaid library. There's a coffin we haven't got. <laughs> 3,000 lion heads. Okay. 6,000 stage killers. Sir Ambra Joe, what a dapper fella. Then Pugnalia, reach level 50 with a lot of people in general. Um, reach level 50 with people. I was like, what's Sarah Clarici? It's a person again. Um, 31st minute in the inlaid library. Okay, so there's two reasons to go to the inlaid library. And then level 80 with some people. And then banish 10 weapons in a single run. Complete the collection for Queen Sigma. See the final fireworks. So there's some sort of special fireworks. Evolve the Santa Water. Yeah, we haven't got around to the Bible. Green Tracer, the Pentagram. The Gata Amri, the Song of Mana, the Shadow Pinion. So these things do evolve as well. Unite Vento Sacri and the Bloody Tear. Of the bracelets and then the buy bracelets. So, you know, you've got to evolve the bracelets together as well. Every standard evolution. Then 15 minutes with Baba. We need to play Babarona as well, like the new character. And evolve her weapon to get... It's a... It's not... They're not moles. They're like badger people. It's... It's a character that might want to go to that cave that's filled with all those overflowing these people yeah so we need to evolve the the mirage robe then become this character and then take him into there i see the secret <laughs> um it's about 15 minutes for him to get that so i see what the secret's got to be then it's got to be take that character in there maybe with some special items as well but <laughs> Um, defeat 100,000 enemies in a single run with Menya Moonspell. Okay, that's challenging. Um, so you two Moonspell with a lot of people in a single run as well to get Megalo versions of them. 6,000 Kappas to get Gavetoni. Um, Milebu evolves as well to become... No, that's just to get gold coins. Okay, so there are all the things that we haven't done yet. We will get to them next time. Some of them. <laughs> but in the meantime, that's what I'm going to call it a day. I'll be back on Wednesday to continue Resident Evil Zero. Have a nice rest of the day and I'll catch you all again soon. Bye-bye.